Uh, so you had a lot of run-ins and uh, luck. I was very lucky. You had luck, but you also yeah. had. Uh, it, to use a geo, geological term, stones uh, yeah. at the time, which uh, is a good thing to have. Yeah. There you go. Hear that? <laughs> Those were not yours. Oh, my God. They fell. No. It's a wise guy <laughs> in the other room. Anyway, the point is, <laughs> the point of the story is uh, you got most of the stuff back, saved yeah. your job, mm-hmm. and stood up. Well, I wouldn't people. have lost my job because yeah. when Bernie got there, he said that was a stupid thing to do. I should have just not gone after those guys. In the remaining moments, have you heard from en- uh, many of the people from the old neighborhood uh, who have... Uh, a couple. I've One guy called me last week, <laughs> and I think he expected me to recognize his voice after... It's been 20-something years mm-hmm, since mm-hmm. I've ever spoken to this gentleman. And he called my house and uh it was really wonderful to talk to him one of the nicest guys some of the guys mm-hmm. we don't know where they might be oh i do know where a lot do you? of them are yeah um but behind bars a in lot some of cases, them are no longer here. no longer yeah. with us mm-hmm. yeah yeah tough life you mm-hmm. know you, you choose that life it can yeah. be tough um how can people what's the best way for people to get in touch with you now because your goal is i mean obviously you'll sell some books here and there but your goal mm-hmm. is to really reach out and yeah i'd like and, to see uh, some people share their life stories sure. with their family and friends and maybe even write a book of their own you mentioned your email um, address why don't you mention that again yeah well they can there's a website you can go to it's the constant outsider.com okay good um you can also go to the publishers there's a link to the publishers the website where you can actually read uh an excerpt from the book which is very uh interesting and um there's an email address like i say uh constant not don't put the it's just mm-hmm. constant outsider at aol.com you know we you didn't wanna, get a chance to yeah. talk about other things including a guy here who literally broke your broke your back at yeah. one point which mm-hmm. is no fun and getting right. through that and then uh, building um these little what do you call them uh, an ultralight 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 aircraft yeah aircraft mm-hmm. which is also uh, a bit of a risky yeah. Proposition, is it not? Well, th- I didn't consider it risky because, <laughs> you know, mine was, I considered it probably the safest one you can buy <laughs> yeah. until I landed in the ocean. With yeah, it. <laughs> see, that's the thing about you. You do have a problem with mechanical things yeah. and cracking them up and so forth. But no, seriously. Um, I do, I do. You're, you're, uh, oh, but I wanted to mention one yes, more thing. Yes. I, I set up a blog on Amazon. If you go to the Amazon.com uh, and just search The Constant Outsider, at the bottom of the book webpage, there's a place that you can post your stories you know after you read it i'd like to hear your opinion i was thinking as i was reading it that uh when you when you go through your early life and you do something that sets you apart and you get razzed or ridiculed and it hurts like heck Mm -hmm. it just sears into your consciousness yeah the good thing about getting older and if you make it and you, Mm -hmm. you, you the good thing about gaining experience and wisdom in years is that you look back and you realize there was a lesson there and there was maybe some good that comes out of it i i I don't have time to go into it, but there are a lot of things that I did that mm-hmm. were against the grain, and I am thrilled. And I say that to my kids yeah. too. I say, don't let it get to you if mm-hmm. if you're not on the inside. Yeah. Sometimes on your when you're on the outside, mm-hmm. you you develop that sense of individuality, which is so important. Yeah. And, uh, that's the lesson I think I gleaned from your story. Yeah, and you probably will survive if you uh, are not afraid to be an outsider once mm. in a while. And, and the pressures can be. Either uh, whether in a downtown, you know, tough Scrabble city area or a suburb, it doesn't matter where you are. The pressures are there. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. You can be in a, the in a college town, or you can be in the in a in a ghetto. Yeah, it's always there. well. Dolly, your sister, is mm-hmm. beaming right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> she must be just floating on air because she's so happy I'm for you. I'm surprised she hasn't called. I'm not because I think what we really want to do is just chat with you and I yeah. think a lot of people will, will probably get in touch. So again, uh, theconstantoutsider.com mm-hmm. is the website. And amazon.com is good. I hope you sell some books and I also hope that uh, you continue to uh, meet people along the way and oh, spread thanks. spread the good word. And again, your son is a great kid and <laughs> great to meet him. And uh, I really appreciate you having me in tonight. Thank, oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much. His name is Thomas M. Sirignano, spelled C-I-R-I-G-N-A-N-O, from the old neighborhood. And uh, he and I share, uh, actually, some, some memories from the south shore of uh, <laughs> Massachusetts. And um, as it says, within this book, each reader may find the inspiration to explore and document his or her own life-altering experiences. The author believes, quote, each of us is a book waiting to be written, and that book, if written, results in a person explained. More coming up here on WBZ. Don't touch that dial.